So this is the plastic bottle, two and a half liter Coke bottle. Cut the bottom off, then make a small cut here, so that way you can put the wooden plug inside. Depending on the size of your wooden plug, maybe it'll fit, maybe it won't without making a cut. Okay, now you got the plug inside, and you can see I drew some lines in the plug where I plan to cut it later with a razor knife. Take the heat gun, be careful not to burn yourself. Make sure it's put in. I usually start on the bottom and heat it up slowly. Don't get it too hot or else the plastic will turn white. But I usually tighten up the bottom. And then careful not to burn your hands. Start working on the top. See the bottle's really starting to take the shape of the plug. The back is always difficult because the open part of the bottle never shrinks down as good as the front. So you're just going to have to work it. Okay, now that you've pretty much got the rough shape, you can start taking out the wrinkles. Back to the top. See, we've almost got all the wrinkles out now. Tighten up the bottom just for fun. It gets pretty tight.
probably about as good as I'm going to get this one. And you can see here, this is what happens when you overheat. Okay, next step is to cut it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to cut it. Here you can see I put some lines ahead of time. Put a new blade in your, uh, in your X-Acto hobby knife. But you got to be careful because the plastic's pretty tough and it's easy to cut yourself. So I'll make a few cuts here just following my wooden plug. Love it. Try to cut all these edges because this gives you the rough layout and then once you take it off the plug and you got all your straight lines cut you can use scissors and a dremel tool to finish it off Okay, now we're ready to take it off. Now you have a very rough canopy. And you can do a lot with a pair of scissors. So this is just the rough part here to remove the part in the front. On my, this is where the FPV camera or a headlight or something like that can stick out. Unfortunately, when you're using a bottle, you're always going to have to deal with uh, this part of the bottle and the fact that the end's open. Obviously, you could get better results with a vacuum molder, vacuum former, but if you don't have one available like I don't, this is the next best thing. Then we'll finish trimming up here. Trim the line around the back. And then that's your canopy. Clean it up with the Dremel, paint the inside black, decorate how you see fit.